liver abscess is accumulation of pus filled mass or pus filled uh, lip cyst inside the liver that is known as liver abscess it is pus filled mass inside the liver common cause are abdominal infections like appendicitis and diverticulitis and it is due to hematogenous spread through portal vein now when pus filled mass accumulates inside the liver and uh, may be because of infections like appendicitis and hematogenous through portal vein uh, spread that is known as liver abscess now this is normal anatomy of liver is shown here here portal vein is also shown which is draining uh, blood from the liver so uh, if there is hematogenous spread of any infection occurs so liver abscess and pus filled mass accumulates in the liver that is known as liver abscess there are different types of liver abscess like pyogenic abscess and amoebic liver abscess now pyogenic abscess as it word indicates it is caused by most commonly polymicrobial uh, agents which causing hepatic abscess in united states it is more common while amoebic liver abscess caused by intermeba hysteritica which is uh, protozoa causing uh, liver abscess that is known as amoebic liver abscess now pyogenic liver abscess is common type of liver abscess and also known characterized by pocket of pus uh, called abscess which accumulates in the liver because of certain infections or trauma that is known as pyogenic liver abscess its etiological factors are bacterial parasitic or fungal can be uh, there and uh, Bacteria access to liver through biliary tract and portal vein and causing liver abscess inside the liver and uh, there may be biliary obstruction or diverticulitis, trauma or inf inflammatory bowel disease can also cause pyogenic liver abscess. Pathophysiology behind liver abscess is because of portal circulation, because of any infection or cooper cell in the liver lining sinus so it's clear the bacteria. So what happens when uh, there may be uh, any infection uh, causing uh, which drains into the liver and it may cause pyogenic liver abscess biliary tract disease can also predispose to pyogenic liver abscess because obstruction of the bile flow allows bacteria to proliferate there in the liver and create abscess in the liver and create pyogenic liver abscess so biliary tract uh, obstruction can also predispose to pyogenic liver abscess now uh, there may be penetrating trauma, non penetrating trauma, E. coli, or appendicitis, or infections like diverticulitis can also predispose to liver abscess and accumulation of the pus inside liver. And uh, uh, as this uh, figure shows, that pyogenic liver abscess, this is abscess filled mass in the liver, and a uh, uh, portal vein is draining here, or a biliary tract obstruction can cause this accumulation of the abscess. A pyogenic abscess is pus filled cavity which uh, may be caused by infections due to illness or trauma in the liver. And as you can see here, inside liver there is mass which is filled with the abscess, and that is known as pyogenic liver abscess. Or cholangitis means inflammation of biliary tract can also cause bacterial infiltration in the liver and up, uh, pus accumulation, accumulation in the liver, which is known as pyogenic liver abscess. Pyogenic abscess of liver is secondary to acute cholangitis means inflammation of the biliary tract and extension of pyogenic process of biliary tree. So uh, clinical features of liver abscess as we know that liver is present in hypochondrium, pain in right hypochondrium, chills, rigor, toxicity, right upper quadrant, discomfort will be there, diarrhea, weight loss, in intercostal tenderness, uh, swelling in the right hypochondrium and epigastric tenderness can also be there with enlarged liver. Hepatomegaly will be there in liver abscess. Uh, differential diagnosis, we will put acute gastritis and a bacterial pneumonia, biliary tree disease, cholecystitis means inflammation of gallbladder, hepatocellular carcinoma can be there or hydrated cyst disease can also be put into differential diagnosis of the pyogenic liver abscess. Now what investigations we perform to diagnose the liver abscess? We perform CT scan of liver to uh, rule out the what causing what is uh, what a uh, causative agent is causing uh, liver abscess we will perform blood test we will also perform blood culture to uh, know the bacteria ultrasound lft and chest x-ray will also be prescribed now imagination imagine uh, imaging studies will show liver abscess is like this and chest x-ray and uh, Diagnosis of the pyogenic liver abscess. Now, diagnosis is made on CT scan uh, to locate abscess in which lobe of liver abscess is there. In CT scan, there is intravenous contrast. Injected dye will be there to measure the abscess, and blood test will locate that uh, which bacteria is causing 
it are increased wbc will show there is high neutrophil level in blood culture bacteria identified will be there in order to prescribe antibiotic and abdominal ultrasound to check for abscess whether it is in right quadrant or in left quadrant so how to treat the liver abscess combined therapy should be given as we know that bacterial infection can uh, uh, be there so third generation cephalosporins should be there uh, prescribed and uh, ampicillin gentamicin metronidazole uh, should also be per, uh, prescribed with uh, metronidazole and aspiration of liver abscess is uh, necessary uh, if abscess is 5 cm or respond to antibiotic is uh, not rapid so abscess draining can be helpful in pyogenic liver abscess now complication of pyogenic liver abscess the main complication is uh, sepsis are uh, why body wide bacterial infection can be there inflammation and dangerous drop of blood pressure can be there in the patient so these are complication of uh, pyogenic liver abscess now coming to the another type of liver abscess that is amoebic liver abscess it is caused by intermoebular histolytic kind most common in right lobe of the liver which intermoebular histolytic is trophozoite which causing uh, and uh, liver abscess which is amoebic in nature now incidence is 2 to 10 percent in the population it occurs and less common in women and, and rare in children and it uh, develop any time during intestinal infection and uh, uh, occurs in intestinal septum with a majority of cases of the hepatic complication now pathophysiology behind amoebic liver abscess is uh, First of all, this, the cyst of intermoebular histolytica is ingested through uh, oral cavity and it comes into the intestine where organism ex uh, exocyst in intestine asexually reproduce their form trophozoite and their trophozoite develops and more uh, produce more cyst and causing intestinal rupture which leads to uh, uh, abscess and uh, hepatic abscess development and uh, it uh, travel the cyst travel through liver via portal circulation and creates hepatic abscess now clinical feature in amoebic dis amoebic liver abscess amoebic abscess will be there and uh, amoebic dysentery occurs in the patient and uh, symptoms like amoebic dysentery and anemia with loss of eight are first to appear and uh, yet typical symptoms are fever patient will complain of the fever chills sweating uh, and the temperature will be raised in uh, amoebic liver abscess now investigation first of all lft should be per, uh, performed and lft abnormal liver function test will be there ultrasound of liver will be performed in order to rule out in which position uh, this abscess is there x-ray chest should be there for to see whether there is pneum, uh, a pneumo pneumonitis or effusion caused by irritation of near by abscess T, uh, TLC total leukocyte count should be uh, performed to check leukocytosis CT scan of liver can also be prescribed now treatment for the amoebic liver abscess is percutaneous surgical drainage ultrasound guided percutaneous drainage should be there metronidazole is drug of choice for amoebic liver disease amoebic uh, liver abscess antibiotic like cephalosporin aminoglycoside tetracyclines should be prescribed in the patient of amoebic liver abscess now the complication of amoebic liver abscess are pneumonitis inflammation of pleura can be there pleural effusion can take place or rupture of liver abscess and pleural cavity uh, uh, may be infected and rupture of peritoneal cavity can also be there in amoebic liver abscess so in this way patient develops liver abscess now as we discussed liver abscess is of two type one is pyogenic liver abscess and another is amoebic liver abscess both are different pyogenic liver abscess is word indicates pyogenic means it is causative agents are bacteria trauma infection like diverticulitis and appendicitis and amoebic liver abscess is caused by intermoba histolytica which comes through mouth and invade GIT from there travels into the liver and causing infection so the treatment is, is according to the bacteria or it is if it is according to uh, the amoebic dysentery so in this way we can treat the patient of liver abscess and uh, save the life of the patient so that was liver abscess and uh, pathophysiology behind it